Hi Taurus, how are you guys doing? Welcome into your weekly love chat reading with me, Deborah. Thank you for clicking onto the video. Yes, it is moi in my readings. I'm usually just with the hands. Now I'm with the whole thing. I got bored, guys, and I was like, you know what? What the hell? Let me record myself. I have before, so why not? Let's get started. We are going to check out your guys' relationship. Whatever situationship or relationship X thing this may be, it depends what comes up in the reading. I know you guys are going, X is no, no, Deborah, no. And it's like, it's not me, guys. I don't choose the cards, okay? So the thing is, yeah, I'm going to get an energy out that represents your relationship and see what the theme is. Then we're going to look at them and look at you. We're going to look at also what they may, how they may act towards you as well and how you're going to act towards them. And then as usual, get your spirit guide advice out at the end of this reading. The extended reading, we're literally going to look at the outcome between you and this person. And as usual, we get spirit guide advice out as well. And let's get started. Let's get started, guys. How are you doing, by the way? It is like a couple of days, maybe before Christmas, that you get this reading. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy your day with your family. If you do celebrate, though, if you do celebrate. But let's get this out. First card out. Let's have a look. Ooh, okay, that card just didn't want to go. Mmm. What is this? Wow, leave me in. Leave me with a mystery, why don't you, Taurus? Wondrous universe, walk in beauty. The thing is, yeah, with this card, guys, it can mean anything. What is going on? This can mean anything. But whatever it is, it's really positive. I don't know what this is. This is either you being totally positive and, and you don't care about anything else, or this is you in a relationship that's like unbelievable, like woo, because that is an unbelievable card. Walking in beauty, wondrous universe means that it's almost like, you know, when you're a kid and then you start to see, you think the world is so mystical and you stand there looking at a big forest and it's like, oh, you're in awe. Yeah, that's the kind of vibe that comes through there. I've, I, I know that because I was a lot like that as a kid. It's in awe of a lot of things. <laughs> so let's get into the energy and see currently what is going on with your person. I'm wondering what this wondrous universe is about. I feel like I've got a little bit of a mystery on my hands here. Taurus. Mm. This is very interesting. I'm going to get another card, two cards out. I'm, I, I, I think the wondrous universe is for you. Mm -hmm. It's about you guys. It is about you. I was wondering, is this a connection? Or is this you? Or what is this? This is you. Your person. Um... Seven of Wands energy with the Moon card in the reverse position. This indicates Seven of Wands defensive energy. They need to defend themselves. And they may have lied to you. I'm just saying, because they've got the Moon card in the reverse position. You know, um, this is a person who is defending themselves as well. I mean, if you, you know, when you start lying about something or when you're not telling somebody the truth and people start confronting you, you start to have to do that. Because you know, many, so many ones, is, like questions are getting thrown at you and you're like, block, 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 defend, defend, defend. There you go. Um, this, I feel like this is uh, somebody that you're with. Um, it could be, could be, but I kind of feel like it's not somebody that you're with because you've got these two cards that have come out in your energy and this is what makes me go, this is you. This is you, okay? The reason being why I'm saying this is because this indicates that you've been through something difficult, okay? This indicates that you've been through something difficult. It tells me you've been through a really hard time emotionally and you had to recover. Um, you've done that now. You've done the recovering. You've done. You, you've done it. You've been through it. You've passed through this already. You, you've stood up. You know when we need to take a break and we just go in bed and don't get out to the weekend? I haven't done that in so long. Maybe I need a break, eh? I'm just saying. Jeez, when was the last time I rested? <laughs> um, then you've got the Seven of Pentacles energy, which indicates the life that you've wanted, the security that you wanted. You've given this to yourself, eh? Phew, I like this reading. Um, you no longer have to wait for security. You no longer have to wait to feel good. You no longer have to wait for these pentacles to get ripe on the bush because this card is in the reverse position, which indicates you've already received what you want. Um, this is a life that you're building for yourself. There is no other way. Your person, um, I'm going to ask for you guys. i got to ask, what happened here? 
Let's look into the joint connection. What happened? Yes, spirit guides. Yeah, this guys, you guys are no longer together. This is an X reading. You've gone off. Um, you see the X reading. It hit me, guys. Four of Pentacles energy. That is an energy of being very careful, very cautious, very cut off. This is an energy of, I feel, both of you, because this is a joint energy of the connection. This is their energy of that very defensiveness energy, um, but paranoid as well, not trusting, but it's also you. Not they more paranoid. They won't open up. You see, they've got the four of pentacles there. They closed off. They closed in their heart. They closed in their mind. Even the, the truth about who they are, because that's what you stand on. Your foundation is the truth of who you are. They close it off. And at the same time, this is you as well. This is going to be a very interesting reading, Taurus. I feel it in my bones. Um, this is you as well. You've already closed this person off away from you. Um, you shut your heart down. I don't think you're communicating as well because you've got the pentacle on your head. It indicates that you closed off there as well. There's no, you know, whatever happens in your head, which is talking, thinking, you know, listening to somebody, it's not happening. Um, the pentacles on the ground literally tells me that you are focusing on that. You're focusing on yourself. And I think something is occurring in you because you are doing this. There's something going to come out of your reading. I've got a really good feeling about this. There's something unfolding here. Um, let's, see what's, let's see the actions towards you. Let's see the actions towards you. You see this wondrous universe card? It's always a mystery energy. And I think as we go in, we're going to see something from spirit guides. Mm, I can just imagine. Yep. Ooh. Is that in the energy? Mm, okay. Well, the action towards you. Let's see what else comes up here. That's in the energy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we've got two cards that have come out. We've got the Nine of Swords and we've got the, the Strength card. Um, in this deck, uh, it literally says Darkest Fears. Darkest Fears. They're up in their head there. You see the moon that's going on around there? That is them literally in their head. Um, one moment they think positively of you, one moment they think negatively of you. And then this is the main energy that is coming through. Do you see what it says there? Detach. This is them releasing energy. Um, it's taking great strength out of them because it is the strength card as well. It's the Leo energy also. It is taking great strength out of them to detach this energy. They may be releasing this, but I can feel like they're very stressed out about doing this. Why? But I mean, they caused this. I feel like they caused this, but now they're stressed out about it. Explain people to me. I don't know. You know, we, we do these things to ourselves. We all do, guys. You know, we do things and later on we're like, why did I do that? You know what I mean? It's called the shadow self. Okay. So the thing is, yeah, let us go and see what caused them to do this. Because they don't know what to say. No. They've got the star card here. The thing is, they they like to be the center of attention. Yeah, it's your problem. Um, I'm honestly going to tell you, I've got a vibe here that um, your person may have been Look, this is not coming through in the cards, but I'm kind of like feeling like they may have been lying to you about certain things. They're very defensive over here. They like attention too much from different people. This is what gets them into trouble. That's their shadow self. They like that attention. You know, when somebody starts to pay them that attention, it, it makes their ego build. And But that... It's almost, it can become an addiction. And this is the star card. So they like that attention. This is what's getting them into trouble. And when they, later on, they even know that they've done something wrong. They even know that they should not have done that. But they're doing it anyway. Um, you, that's, I think, what you got wrong. I think if you've been feeling that in the past, like maybe my person's lying to me about certain things. Mm, I think so. Um, let's have a look in your energy actions towards them, or maybe even actions that you have taken, whatever comes up here. Yep, you got the move card in the reverse position. There is your chariot card going in the opposite direction, the move. So let's have a look what else comes up here. Yep, you knew. <laughs> oh, yes, you did. You knew. You knew. You knew about that moon you knew because the thing is this is gut instinct that this high priestess energy that says listen listen to my heart listen to my soul it's in the upright position 
So let me tell you something. You knew that they were lying to you. Even though you may not have had the evidence of so, but you knew. You knew. Yeah, Taurus. And the move card being in the reverse position, this is actual hand fasting energy there. If you look how they got the ribbon tied around there, it's in the reverse position indicating that this romance was now going in the opposite direction. You did not like where this was going. And I think you were the one that cut them off. You were the one that told them, no, this is it. Not for me. Um, their darkest fears has come to light, but it is their own doing. And they have to release this energy. I honestly feel like I feel like um, this is a reading literally for people, whoever I'm reading for, I don't feel like absolutely nothing coming out of your energy that tells me that you want to get back together with this person. You done, done, done. You like time out done. And I feel like this is the energy coming through for you with regards to this person, the relationship, anything. Let's have a look and see <laughs> the relationship anyway. So I'm curious now. Something is unfolding, guys. I think your extended reading is going to be very different. Something is unfolding. I saw that card. Don't slip away. Yep, this relationship is done, done. I'm just saying. You've got two cards. Uh, the one, they're the same card, by the way. Um, four of Pentacles energy. Cut off. Don't want to communicate. Absolutely not doing this at all. Now in the reverse position, the same card, four of pentacles. It says open up. It is in the reverse position. You guys are not going to open up to each other, okay? This is you even closing yourself and protecting yourself even more. And this is in the joint connection of this relationship, which tells me this is literally no relationship. I don't want to be funny, but I feel like it's it's maybe a good thing because there's something coming that is absolutely beautiful here with this wondrous universe. So I want to get, no, no, let's go to the moonology for you guys. Yeah, let's do this. I want to get some moonology energy out. Let's look deeper as to what spirit guide. Yeah, see, this is what usually happens in my readings when I was recording my hands. Now you see it happening in life. Let me, let me get the card there. You got a new start that is coming. I knew. I knew. See, when they start wanting to talk, they start throwing cards around. You have a new start coming. You have a new start coming. This is what wants to emerge. Walk in beauty. Oh. Stop the clocks, guys. Listen. Um, you do have a new start coming. You have a new start that is coming in here for you. Now, I want you to be very careful. Walk in beauty now. Walk in beauty now, because as you are creating your future, um, you're creating it in the moment that you're in right now. How you are right now, in the energy that you are in right now, make sure it's beautiful. Make sure everything you do, make sure the world around you, everything is beautiful. I just noticed my thingy fell. Okay, anyway, we'll sort it out now. No. Um, this is new, so I just hanged it up. Apparently, I need to hang it up better. Anyway, okay, let's continue. That's what happened to your guys' relationship. It fell down. Okay, so you got a new start that is coming, new moon. Um, make sure you sort out your energy before you step into this energy. Because when you sort out your energy here, you are going to be able, what you in this moment is what is, is going to come in, in the future. So be very, very careful. Keep that straight now. You'll be able to create something beautiful coming in. You got a new start coming. What is this new start? Let's see. Spirit guides, what is this? What is this? What is this new start? What is this? What is this wondrous universe? I want to know. Well, they say it's a new start. It's something that's going to be wondrous. It's something that's going to activate your emotions all over again. Emotions are running high. You're going to fall in love. I'm just saying, Taurus, you're going to fall in love. You're going to fall in love again. And you go, I'll never fall in love again. Mm -hmm. Yes, you will. You're going to fall in love. Let's have a look and see advice for you guys going out of this reading. Oh, wow. Your extended reading. How are we going to do the extended reading? Spirit guides, how are we going to do this extended reading? We are going to end the... Ex we're, going to, we're going to see what's going on with them. But totally on this side here and in the center, I want to see what the wondrous universe is. Because that's me. When I want to know something, I want to know something. And that's what I want to check out for you in the extended. Um, enjoy the journey. Yes, thank you so much. They are advising you again about this wondrous universe energy, walking beauty. They're telling you you don't know where you're going yet. They know. 
your spirit guides. They know. They know where you're going. They got this, uh, they're wandering path. You're still looking at the map there, trying to figure out where am I going? What, who's coming in my future? All that kind of stuff. Um, but it's saying, asking you again to put the beauty, walk in beauty, enjoy the journey because what you are feeling now the energy that you are vibrating at now is definitely what you're going to be bringing in in the future um vibrate at the frequency you want to be vibrating at for what you want to bring in we cannot be in despair and sad and we cannot be you see when you're in that darker spheres like that guess what you're getting in the future darker spheres you're going to get more of the same so when you want to change your future you change your energy currently you start to become the thing that you want to have okay Gee, that is so irritating me you don't know okay <laughs> so let's get one more card out for you guys and see what else comes in here what else comes in here oh this is nice guys yo the, the all three cards are saying the very same thing this is so interesting. They're asking you to be happy now, without a doubt. Something big is coming in. Oh, you're going to see in the extended. Passion and pleasure. Savor your life. Enjoy the journey. Walk in beauty. Something is coming. You're preparing yourself for this event that is entering your life. This has got to be something big. Um, when this comes in, they want your energy to be so aligned before it gets here for a reason. So that when it arrives, oh, okay, spirit guides, it's like what is coming is very high vibrating. So you need to match your energy to what is coming. You are matching your energy to another person. Okay, so a spirit guide is like there's a person coming in here. You, this person is, is really good for you. Their energy is vibrating at a certain level. Um, they've, they're not this. No, they are not this at all. They are not this at all. They are something else. I'm getting goosebumps in your reading. <sighs> okay. They are something else. Their energy is very high vibrating. They want you to match this with... Your energy needs to match with them. So that when your energy matches and you, the two of you meet, you just fall into alignment with each other. Oh my gosh, guys. That's beautiful. I'm just saying. You know, you're making me feel all emotional and stuff. Wow. Please work on yourself vibrate higher raise those vibrations remove anything negative out of your life put yourself in alignment i know it's not an easy thing to do but you work on it on an everyday basis because there's somebody coming in and spirit guides want your guys energy to match with each other like this oh my goodness i'm getting goosebumps again guys there's something beautiful i knew in your reading there's going to be something really interesting coming in this is amazing thank you guys so much for watching this and i'm sending you all love and light I want to check out the extended and see more into what is coming in here. Maybe our spirit guide is going to show us. Our spirit guides, yours and mine. Let's see what comes up in the extended. If you want to do so, link in the description box below. But otherwise, guys, I'm sending you all love and night. Thank you so much for coming in. Bye.